Yo, what up, Genomic? Repping Reptiles, be there, be square. Welcome to the live. Hopefully the noise isn't too loud. Chilling in the PJs. Time to relax. Um, I just got to thinking on the way over here from work. I don't know if I'm going to go live on Friday because I will be in Vegas. DS Balls and Exotics, what's good? Welcome to the live. Hit the thumbs up on the way in if you can. I greatly appreciate it. I'm rocking the bed head right now. Okay. What's good? Just chilling. Just got home, ate a little bit. I was chilling over at um, uh, DA Exotics live stream. He goes live every night as well. So you guys got to go check him out. And then, uh, you know, stop by my live right after. Um, first thing I did, brother, nice. Swap member 187 was good, bro. Genomic. Uh, yep, I was just over there. Nice. Yeah, Andrew's a good dude. Me and him go way back. I've known him for many, many years. Um, he's been doing YouTube for a long time as well. So, King Blue, what's good? Golden Boy, what's good? Didn't didn't see you last night, Golden Boy, but welcome. Jose Vargas, what's good, man? Nice to see the same uh, people up in here, man. That's super cool. Uh, I don't really have any updates for you guys as to anything that's going on. Um, I need to check on the Firefly real quick. She uh, she was either going into ovulation or coming out of it. Yeah, she looks like she's coming out of it. So she's nice and wrapped up and looks like she shrunk up a little bit. Uh, yeah, she's coming out of ovulation. Yeah, she still has a little swell. Sup, sup, repping reptiles. What's good, man? Welcome. I think this is your first time here, huh? Jamie's live. Welcome back. How are you doing tonight? Doing good. Uh, excited to be back in the live stream. My my Python eight eight in two weeks after it shed. What should I do? Uh, don't do anything. That's pretty normal. Uh, don't freak out. This girl should be going in her shed. She's got a little bit of stuck shed from the last time on her head. Alright, let me get that. Let me get it. Let me get it. This girl finished her ovulation, so she should be going in prelay here very soon. Oh my gosh, the washing machine is going crazy right now. Let um, me get you guys a little bit away from that washing machine. Welcome, gay, sick with it, ball pythons. What's up? Yeah, yeah, it's completely normal, man. Don't freak out. Um, it's kind of that time of year. Uh, we got out of winter. Um, so, yeah, don't worry about it, man. It's not unusual for ball pythons to go a month or two without eating. Righteous Reptiles, what's up, brother? Uh, what time is it over there in South Africa? Yo, me and Righteous Reptiles, we go back many years also, man. I've seen the kid grow up. Can you please show me some bananas? Uh, yeah. Don't forget to smash the like button. I got a Mojave that I thought had a pre, a pre lay shed about a month ago. Is she going to drop? So if, in fact, it was a pre-lay, then yes. So can lay eggs anywhere between 30 and 45 days, generally, within that range. Um, yeah, which one of the two bros is on? How many girls are you breeding this season? Ball and chain, what's up? Uh, man, you guys, are, you guys are hitting me with the, the comments today. I appreciate it. I will show the banana stuff right now. Um, I have a total of 15 girls that can go, that are ready to go. Now, realistically, if 50% of those females go, I would be happy just because you get a lot of them that are first time breeders or they reabsorb or the males aren't are breeding, but don't want to breed a certain female. So it's just kind of a gamble. Um, the whiter of the two. <laughs> okay, cool. Still under 45 days. Whew. Yeah, sometimes it can go longer. Um, sometimes the females just want to hold on to their eggs. Okay, I only had my python for like four months now. Yeah, don't be concerned. Um, sometimes if there's a drastic change in your temperature or if you move its environment around, you might you might kind of scare it in a sense, and then you just got to make it feel more comfortable. Sometimes what you can do is you can add multiple hides in the enclosure, and it'll make the snake feel a little bit more secure, and generally that'll help with eating. Smash that like button. I appreciate all the support, guys. You guys all rock. Thank you. I love banana. Edward, Welcome. Any yellow belly complex stuff? Yes. Um, let me show the banana stuff first, and then I'll show off the yellow belly complex. Um, 
and I have more yellow belly complex stuff coming too. Um, possibly next week, but um. We keep doing these lives. Um, you guys might end up catching females on on eggs too, but this is a banana head clown female. She's due to lay within the next week or two. She's looking nice and uncomfortable, um, and uh, nice and plump, full of eggs. So she's a first time female. She's a banana head clown. She was bred to a butter leopard head clown. Um, I. Kind of wasn't planning on getting into the um, banana or core glow gene until I started seeing some of the clown combos and that kind of that kind of pushed me into it. And then you bring the camera over here to help capture his colors. But this is a banana cinnamon 66% het for pied. Um, I will give him a shot at one of my female pieds. I've got three, actually I've got four female pieds but some of them still need some growing to do. But that's all I have for the banana stuff, at least for right now. Um, I'm gonna get ready to show some of the yellow belly stuff, but I gotta get caught up on some of these comments. I fed my ball pythons yesterday, and today one of them struck at me. He's normally super docile, but he was probably a little grumpy since he's gotten bigger prey now. Yeah, it's, you just caught him off guard, it's all it was. Love these late night streams. Thanks, Janovic, appreciate it. These lives are dope. You guys rock, man. You see, what's cool is we get, you know, the right the right balance. People that are new, people that have questions, people that have been doing it, and we can all share the knowledge. That's what it's all about. What are you most excited to produce this year? Hopefully, man, hopefully I'm able to produce some puzzle stuff. So I am breeding um, the pastel het puzzle female. She's being bred to a uh, pastel inchy het puzzle male. So that is what I'm most excited for. Although the clown clutch is a is a really close second there. Hopefully I can hit some nice visual clown stuff. And what's nice is the banana gene. Okay, so those of you that are new, there's a male maker banana and a female maker banana. I'm not going to get into it too deep, but um, the female banana makers will make female banana combos. So if I get any visual banana clown stuff, um, they should be all females. And if I do get a male that's a visual, then he could be a female maker as well uh, thank you so much for showing bananas yeah no problem the next snake i want is a piebald yeah they're amazing this is my first night joining i'm glad to be here i'll be showing up more often are your videos and oh your videos and snakes are always dope thank you so much lives are amazing and also addicting <laughs> get f-o-m-o -O if i have to miss it <laughs> uh good luck they should all be mine nice okay so yellow belly complex so um I've actually got a lot of yellow belly complex. Um, so we'll start off with a, a male. He's been breeding like a champ. So he's a little on the thinner side, but he's still he's still good. So come here, boy. <laughs> he's generally not this squirmy. He's usually pretty fine, but I guess I grabbed him by the back end of his tail. So this is a male I produced about three years ago. He's a... Uh, He's a firefly, inchy, um, yellow belly. So fire, pastel, inchy, yellow belly. His baby picture is just ridiculous. If you go through my Instagram um, to about a few years ago, you'll see some of his baby pictures. And the side flames were just glowing red hot. Like, it was amazing. And he, he often gets a nice little iridescence coming off of him. But he's a stud. He's been breeding to everything this year. Couldn't get him to lock to anything last year, but he's got like the most prettiest turquoise eyes too. He's got that little baby on his head, little baby head stamp. <laughs> he's like saying, what's up? But yeah, so I'll show you, I'll show you some more yellow belly stuff. Oh, this tub's going to fall off. Okay. There you go, big boy. Um, so... When you combine yellow belly to a spark, which spark is part of the yellow belly complex, um, you get what's called a puma. So, and ironically, I used to, like years, years ago, about eight years ago, I used to think yellow bellies were ugly. I didn't, I didn't see the potential in them until I started seeing combos. But she's a puma. She's been bred 
a lot to that Firefly and she yellow belly. And just recently she was bred to a black pastel yellow belly crystal. So honestly, I don't care who takes that, that clutch, but she's hasn't been eating. She's showing signs of going. She looks like she might be building an ovulation. She's been nesting. So that's really, really good sign. She just got out of a shed. So hopefully that's prelay. Uh, or not pre-lay. Hopefully that's pre-ovulation. Oh my God, so beautiful. I'm on the hunt for a black yellow belly clown. Nice. Blackhead yellow belly. Anything highway? Um, I do have a pastel blackhead asphalt. A few hundred grams. Um, nice. Do you breed your own rats? I do not. Um, I'm lucky enough that my girl lets me keep all of this in the house. And the rats is definitely not going to happen. But one day when I build my own room outside i will consider building a separate rack breeding room so i've got a ton of yellow belly stuff i mean we could be here all night talking about yellow belly but this is a black pastel yellow belly special mojave het for hypo so he's essentially a crystal black pastel yellow belly he's been doing some nice breeding beautiful boy he's got some really pretty turquoise eyes as well I uh, probably won't be able to get it. He's a gorgeous male. Okay. What do you think about orange bellies? Honestly, it's, I mean, they're cool. I don't have anything against the, uh, orange bellies. But um, apparently they make the gridlock. All right, back to work. A little peace out. See you, Alden. Good looking animal. Yo, Juggernaut, what's good, man? If you guys aren't subscribed, you guys need to go head over to Juggernaut's page. He's the man. So... I got asked to show us off some yellow belly stuff. Um, let me bust out. <clears throat> I bust out this male. So he's a blackhead yellow belly. Just absolutely amazing. This guy's going to go to anything and everything possible next season. He might even catch something this season. But what do you think about the black tar project? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop it, Austin. Austin, because uh, I told him I'm going to go the uh, the super blackhead um, freeway route because I am am picking up that blackhead asphalt pastel I already paid for her. She's in like a week or two. Um, I'm going to eventually go for the super blackhead freeway. And since she also has pastel, you know, you can add pastel. But he said it would be cool if you called it a black tar, which would be dope. Man, blackhead yellow belly fire. Yeah, dude, I got lucky with this one. I got a him from Shane Serpents, and he has hands down the best line of blackhead I've seen around. I mean, there's just no comparison to how dark and pure this blackhead looks compared to the other stuff I see out there. Uh, Lorga, what's up? DEA, welcome, brother. Your live was awesome tonight, man. Thank you. Um, so I'm trying to think if I have any other yellow belly stuff in these racks, which I don't think I do. Um, no, I don't have any yellow belly in those racks, but I got the hatchling rack over here. Um, so we'll start off with the kind of simpler combos. <clears throat> but these, some of these that I'm about to show you have like some ginormous potential. So I hatched this out. This is a pastel yellow belly. 66% het for puzzle. The dad was a super pastel yellow belly, 100% het puzzle that I got from Sean Bradley. But this snake has to be seen in person to truly appreciate all that yellow belly. I mean, this guy is just straight quality pastel yellow belly. I mean, yeah, this guy does not like to be held. I mean, those flames are just intense. The neck stripe, all that stuff, just gorgeous. Okay. Let me see. These guys are ready for their meal too. So they're a little fired up. I got feeding day tomorrow. So they think they're getting fed. Yeah, this guy's cocked and loaded. Okay. Sorry. So that was actually the female. Sorry. This is the male. So same thing. You see all that yellow belly going on. Just ridiculous. Blushed out all the way, head to tail. And 
Again, he is a um, pastel yellow belly, 66% hit for puzzle. I wasn't planning on keeping him, but after putting some size on him, I'll use him as a backup to just some other stuff. But look, look at all that pattern. Look at that head stripe. Just insane. Uh, gotta get caught up. Do you have any spinner cinnamons? Uh, no. I, I'm kind of staying away from a lot of the spider stuff if I can, but I have a lot of it in my collection. But um, I don't have, I have pinstripe stuff. I have spider stuff, but I don't have spinner stuff. Um, ask Juggernaut, does he still have that huge 0.1 from Outback? And if so, how big is it now? Um, I don't know what point one you're talking about. I don't know. I like the blackhead pastel butter regine. Shut up. <laughs> um, too many for me to remember. If that proves, that's going to be insane. I know. So I still have more. So I'm just trying to get caught up on, on these crazy as is. Can't imagine puzzle. I know, dude. Seriously. Jeez, man. You guys are, you guys are talking today. I love it. So... Probably my favorite snake out of that whole clutch is this no white bumble belly possible hit puzzle. So look at all that yellow belly going on in there. And it was more noticeable when it was the baby, but you can see a lot of the oranges coming out on, on the side flames. But look, she's got no white. That's not usual for a, uh, a bumble bumblebee. I have her sister and you'll see, but look at all that pattern. So who knows? Maybe the puzzle stuff is kind of influencing it if it's if it's actually a het puzzle. But she's probably my favorite one. It was originally like one of the killer bees, but as this thing grows, it's just getting orange, 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 yellow, yellow. Look at all that. So I kept every female back out of that clutch. I it was six eggs, and I had five females out of that clutch. Can't really blame me, right? And then this girl's a little bit smaller because she went on a little, little bit of um, a food. Uh, look at that! Look at all those flames. So I got lucky out of that clutch. Every single baby had yellow belly. The only ones that I'm kind of up in the air about are the killer bees, and it's only because them being super pastel, it tends to hide a lot of the the flames, but. 66% pos het puzzle. So I've got five chances. One of them better prove puzzle. <laughs> I didn't really consider puzzle before now. Oh, you need to look up puzzle stuff. Puzzle's where it's at. What do you think about a banana butter woma being bred to spinners, cinnamon? So you don't want to breed spider to spider. Um, I hear woma and spider is not a good mix. Um, I think that's a lethal combo. So you don't want to do that because you can get some dead babies and some eggs that that start to go bad. Um, so stay away from that combo. What is the most overrated and underrated morphs, both codom and recessive? Jeez, ball. Austin trying to ask all these complicated questions. Um, overrated, still, I still think um, I'm, I'm torn between the sunset and the and the scaleless. Um, as like far as overrated goes, um, I think there's better stuff out there, but um, I'm really digging as far as like codom stuff. I mean, that's that's a long question. I don't feel like answering all that. <laughs> yeah, puzzle is catching a lot of fire. I'm glad I bought into it a little over two years ago. Um, how is your garage insulated? So every wall is insulated, including the ceiling, except for the actual garage door. But there's ways to compensate for that. Uh, I don't think it's lethal, but I'm dumb. Yeah, you are dumb. You're you're over there cracking your eggs early. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to show off the rest of that clutch since we're on the yellow belly topic. Well, this is a killer bee that's um, I think has yellow belly. I'm almost confident it has yellow belly. She has a lot of the same stuff going on. You can see all that busyness on the sides. Just with the killer bee, you don't see too much of the yellow. Um, so it's hard to tell. But she looks really promising. This is the girl that has the pumpkin face on the side. See the pumpkin face right here? Look at that. She's got a jack-o'-lantern. 
<laughs> Pretty rad, isn't it? Little jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> also, I figured I'd take the time to say that your video saved my Mojave male's life. He went from roughly 30 grams and having to be a cis fed to almost 150 grams in a matter of months. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, I still get a ton of hits on that video. A ton of hits on the uh, how to assist feed your ball python video. Matter of fact, I have two babies up here that I'm assist feeding. Um, they, I think I might have been incubating on a little bit of a lower temperature and it took them a long time to get out of the eggs. And uh, But they're doing fine. I mean, they're taking to the assist feeding really well. Okay, and the last female in that clutch is another killer bee. Look how busy this snake is. Same thing, she has all that going on on her, her belly, but again, it's super past, or it's a super pastel spider. The yellow belly, 66% hit for puzzle. Just absolutely stunning. So hope, hopefully these prove out because seriously, they'll do some serious puzzle combos in the future. This one, I I, I have uh, more confidence that she'll produce a puzzle than the other one, just because of all the separation with all the pattern up here. Whereas typically you see a lot of the striping, like the spider webbing striping. But up here, it's kind of, it's like all broken. And on the tail end, it's really broken up down here too. Like all of that busyness. But who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, good work, Tony. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. Cool. He pissed on me that night, but it was well worth it. Yeah, good job, man. I love the intros. Lil Yes. Sweet. Love it, Anthony. Thanks, DEA. Appreciate it, man. Um, I think I covered all the yellow belly stuff. So everything I showed, I mean, those last like 10, 12 snakes or whatever, all had yellow belly. Um... Real quick, since we're here. This guy's starting to get a little spunky. I love it. Uh, this is a little pinstripe desert ghost I hatched out. He's one of the ones I'm assist feeding. But he's just absolutely stunning. He's glowing. Nice and orange. Got that nice full stripe going down. His head is really blushed out. It's just really beautiful. Uh, Pinstripe Desert Ghost Male. I might keep him as a backup to his dad because his dad tends to do a lot of work in the breeding season. But gorgeous, gorgeous male. He's just glowing. Okay. Senior video two for my orange dream yellow belly double hit clown pie girl was a struggle at first to get her going like five assist. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while. I never really wanted to get into the spider gene, but I'd take any one of those head puzzles off your hands. Truly beautiful animals. Thanks. Um, I almost bought a visual puzzle of spider, but I guess spider, it's really hard to tell that the puzzle gene's in there. Um, but when you add extra genes, it helps It helps kind of compensate that. So it's nice. I hope he keeps some of that orange as he grows or I'll take him. Anything for sale? I don't have anything for sale at the moment, brother. Sorry. You can just bring them to me. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I knew this was going to go down. Nice, big shed from the uh, garter snake. So now that she's shed, let's bust her out. Come here, sweetheart. There you go. Just out of her shed. Got her nice lavenders coming out. Looking mean. She's a pretty snake. Love this girl to death. Nice and plump. Look look at those scales. Look look like by my nose. See how those scales are lined up? It's super weird, man. Way different than ball pythons. The way the scales overlap each other. She's really pretty. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? It's like, nope. I hear, um, haven't been much of a Desert Ghost fan, but that pin is starting to change my mind. Oh, yeah, man. Desert Ghost takes the most subtle genes and just makes them glow. 
That's a cool garter. Thanks, man. Anthony, did you read my second to last message? Uh, let's do it. Um, let me scroll all the way up. It was a, a face with eyes. Let's see. Dang, I got to scroll way up here, man. Okay. A. <laughs> no, I didn't see your sub kindo. Unless you sent me a message somewhere else. I, I don't see it. Uh, what was it? Okay. How's the boa? All right. Let's bust out the boa. Did you build up that garter collection? No, man. So I got out of them for a little bit um, when I moved. Kind of a long story, but I got out of them when I moved, and then I tried getting back into them, and I was trying to buy, um, like, this group of, like, males and females, a couple different species, and the guy just never responded. Um, and then he removed the ads off Morph Market, and um, since spring is here, we're going to start seeing more of the babies give uh, birth or more of the snakes give birth, so hopefully I'll be able to get a, a couple groups. But they're super hard to find, man. But there she is. She's uh she's looking ready for her next shed. But this is a um hypo jungle het VPI possible het for Annery. But oh yeah, she's definitely ready for her next shed. She's got a lot of pinks coming out, a lot of greens. Nice, beautiful tail. Gorgeous girl. What's up? This girl always looks like she wants to bite, but she doesn't. She's super awesome. Boa's doing good. Definitely going to get a few more of these here pretty soon. Um, the reptile shop has a lot, of, a lot of good ones posted right now. See all the pinks and greens. Their heads give me, man. Oh, I know. That evil-looking head. She's got a little mustache. If, I'll, if I can show it. She's got a little mustache. Little goatee and mustache. They got to grow into their heads a little bit. Yeah, that's for sure. When they're uh, first born, they've got these big old domes. These helmet heads. Nothing better than VPI is all I know, man. There you go. You can see the goatee. And the mustache. Okay. Um, can't wait to see how much your bow has grown. Yeah. She's trying to kiss me. Imagine she bites my eyeball. <laughs> uh, end up on like Tosh.0 if he still makes that show. My female pastel blackhead 100% het for hypo is almost up to breeding size. Um, I didn't even know you had that. Um, I'm pairing her up to my super inchy orange dream. Yellow belly. Oh, that's good, man. When I get a good clutch from that pairing, one of those babies is yours. Yeah, I definitely want Orange Dream and Enchi. Well, it's super Enchi, so I don't have a choice. But definitely, that they work really good with Blackhead. The Enchi is kind of hit and miss with Blackhead. Sometimes it takes away, but I think the Orange Dream will actually help it out a lot. I personally love dark jeans like Motley and Aztec. Oh, definitely. Um, I've actually got my eye on some Motley stuff and Aztec stuff, but I think I want to, since I'm not going to go too crazy with Boas, I think I want to really hold out and save my money and get a nice IMG, IMG combo. I really like the IMG uh, VPIs and uh, the other IMG albino combos. Uh, yep, I've shown you everything in here. I haven't shown this guy off since he's been in shed, but this is a little lemon blast pet desert ghost male that I hatched out in the desert ghost clutch. So he's definitely a holdback as of right now. He'd be an, a little backup breeder, but who knows? I think I'm going to try to buy into some other genes that involve desert ghost just because I have a lot of pinstripe stuff. Um, I want to get the blackhead into desert ghost also. Speaking of Orange Dream, we've got this male. Look at that belly. He's an Orange Dream Enchi. He's a young little guy. Not the best eater in the world. Kind of sucks. I've had him for about five months, and he's still only like 300 grams, if that. Uh, damn, he got it. Um, are you... <laughs> hey, you want that bag tomorrow? That bag? What bag? Huh. Little black bald. 
Damn, he got it. Nice. Could you read what I said? What to breed with Banana Woma? Um, let's see. Banana Woma. You. Okay, thank you. How far up do I have to go? Hey, Anthony, my female pastel black hood. Yeah, okay, I read that. Um, could you look at the last thing I said? I'm trying. Did you build? Okay, I already read that. Um, I'm trying, man. Your comment's way up here. I want to get a banana woman. What would be awesome to breed with her? I don't really like dark colors, but ball pythons, dark color ball pythons. So what would you say would be awesome to breed with her? Honestly, if you're going to breed banana, you need to go dark. Absolutely. Because the dark genes bring out the lavenders inside the banana. So you definitely want to go dark. Um, if I were you, I'd get like a black pastel, um, a Mojave, um, Hidden Gene Woma. All those work really well with banana. Definitely want to go that route. I need OD stuff. Yeah. Jimmy's live. Go for banana, calico, and Woma. Nice. Yeah, um, I think I referred you to him already, but Rudy at Root Dog Reptiles, he breeds banana Woma stuff, and he's got a lot of dope stuff. Uh, Mocha, yeah. See, that's, that's good, too. Um, so, yeah, I think we pretty much knocked out the entire hatchling, hatchling rack over there. Uh, what's up, Stevie? Welcome. Okay. Yeah, but definitely, if you're going to breed banana, get some dark stuff involved, seriously. Because you said you don't like dark stuff, but you really like this snake when I showed it off, right? So this is, again, a banana cinnamon. A cinnamon is a dark gene. So you see all those purples? You get that from the cinnamon in the head, all those purples on it. If you get bright color snakes into the banana gene, you're not doing much for the gene. Um, another thing that works really well with banana is pinstripe. Pinstripe bananas are just amazing. So definitely try to go that route. Um, that sucks. I have a 16 female o -dream, or orange dream, 1200 grams. Sister is almost 2K. Oh, I hate when that happens. Cinnamon would be nice too. Maybe a nice dark GHI, definitely. Yeah, so. Um, so this is a cinnamon pinstripe, or sorry, GHI pinstripe. So this combo, if banana was added, would just be ridiculous. See all the darks? Like all of this would just be screaming purple. All the, the drips would be screaming purple. He was breeding, so it looks like he's got a little bit of poop on him. Uh, they tend to get real messy when they're breeding. But cinnamon is great, Gina, add in banana. Or if you want to really hit a home run, get yourself some blackhead stuff. Red stripe banana wouldn't be too bad either as initial combo to bring into something. Um, yeah, um, Corporal Soda Reptiles hit a, um, I think it was a red stripe banana or was it a uh, red jean? It might have been red jean. Never mind. Missouri bag. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, I have a banana and she pinstripe and he's beautiful. Absolutely. Where is AJ? <laughs> I know. I have to. I have to text them, but it's it'll kick you guys out if I do. So I don't want to do that. Yeah. I know AJ needs to come in here. Um so yeah, what other what other uh questions you guys got repping the granddaddy herbs t-shirt? Okay. <laughs> the rats. Um trying to think what else, guys. Um About time to take the pinstripe desert ghost boy out and uh yeah let me uh now i'll leave him alone okay pet sodics what up diego what's going on that rat food pen decker oh yeah yeah that's right I, I need that you already bought that bag what's a minimum breeding size for male female uh male can breed as early as 300 grams uh apparently it's been done but it's not wise i would shoot for closer to 600 grams on a male 
female, you can start breeding at 1300 grams. Although again, it's not highly favorable. Um, but 1500 grams is a nice, safe, solid breeding weight for a female. Het red exanthic would be killer with the banana too. Yeah. I thought about maybe getting some het red stuff for, um, for the blackhead stuff coming in the future. Um, trying to show off something. So, Oh, nice. So this girl, what I've been waiting on, she just had her prelay. So I've been keeping an eye on her. She's a, um, a nice dark banana. She's not really that dark. She's actually nice and bright, but she's a, not a banana. She's a bumblebee female that was bred to the pinstripe desert ghost. So, um, I'm hoping for like a female pet desert ghost combo or two to hold back. Because Desert Ghost spinners are pretty nice, but I'm hoping to get the, uh, the like a female pastel pinstripe spider to hold back. I'm going to grab it tomorrow, but I also need feeder plus more of those special ones. Nice. Um, I don't know if I can make it to pick up tomorrow. I'm going to be kind of busy, and then I'm going to be out of town for Vegas, so I don't know if I can make that happen. Um, did you see the last thing I said? No, man, sorry. It's a lot of comments. Okay, well, if I don't have a whole lot of money right now at the moment, but in time, what would be the best one to breed with the banana Wilma? <laughs> um, whatever you want to work with, honestly. So everything that we're telling you is merely a suggestion. See what catches your eye and go for it because you don't want to breed what we're telling you to breed, right? Because then it's not your own. It's not your ideas. Get your ideas, you know, map them out and go for it. Um I've never bought anything in my collection because someone told me that I should buy it. it. It's never gone down that way because then you're going to get stuck with animals that you probably wouldn't wouldn't really want in the long run anyway. So whatever cat catches your eye, stick with that project. Um, how's the baby feeling? Like crap. She's all congested. Jamie, I look at the jeans listed above. Look at the cost of them. Look at pictures of the combos and save till you can afford it. Uh, luckily for you, a lot of people on Morph Market offer payment plans where you put 25% down and you have 30 to 60 days to pay it off. So that could be a, a good route for you if you want to be able to invest in something that costs a little bit more money. Uh, breeding it just to breed it is always a bad idea, in my honest opinion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I started breeding my Cine at 1,200 grams, but only around 1,800 grams did she start showing signs of maturity. Yeah, 1,200 grams, that's a little early. That's pushing it. Um Jamie's life, do black uh, pastel. Yeah, black pastel's nice. Okay, thank you. I like cinnamon. Big facts. <laughs> Thanks, Genomic. Um, you should have bought that black magic. Yeah, right? Uh, shouldn't. <laughs> I've been talking to the guy from Dynasty Reptiles. I think I'm going to be getting my first one from him. Yeah, he's a solid breeder. I've had a snake for about five to six months, and she's nearly doubled in size, but she's only shed once. That's Five to six months with one shed? Are are you sure? That doesn't that doesn't sound right. Generally, they'll shed once a month or at once every other month at the latest. Um, maybe you just didn't pay attention. Uh, especially if they double in size, it's impossible for a snake to double in shot double in size and not shed. It's literally physically impossible for that to happen because in order for them to grow, they have to be able to shed off that old skin. Um, I don't know my logo is. Um, if you ever need help with the logo, Stevie, let me know. Um, I can give you a, a few tips on making simple logos. Like this logo was done by myself. It was just a, a font. And then I Photoshopped and added this into it. So you don't have to go too crazy. Sometimes they go early. Yeah. She pulled a leopard gecko and ate that thing. What? <laughs> um. She pulled a leopard gecko and ate that thing. What are you talking about, Austin? Okay. Um, my pastel head puzzle is in a deep shed, so she's not breeding right this second. Got this nice, big, chunky girl. She is my pastel karma. 
nice and healthy, well fed. So to those of you guys that were talking about my, um, my assist feeding video that helped you, I'm going to show you some, some irony right now. So in that video, you saw me feed a blue eyed Lucy. Well, here she is. Look how big she is. I had to assist feed her two times because when I got her, the guy I got her from was getting out of the reptile hobby. And he literally sent me her like right out of the egg. Like she was only a few days old when she, when he threw her in the mail and I got her. So that is what put her off food. But as you can see, she's nice and thick. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Absolutely stunning. Um, oh my God, I love the white. Yeah, I know. Yeah, every six weeks, check for stuck shed. Soak the ball python and see if anything peels off. The shed bee. Oh, I get you. I get what you mean. Like she pulled a leopard, uh, leopard gecko and ate it. Um, I feed her and check her tub every week. She's had a shed. She just pushes it. She's always getting close to shed, but she stays in pink for like three weeks. I took her to a vet who said she was healthy. So just wondering if you've ever seen it before. No, I've never seen it go that long. Also, that Lucy is gorgeous. Thank you. I can't wait till my Super Mojave gets to that size. Oh, yeah. So she's never dropped eggs for me. I, I gave her last season off, too, which would have been like her first season ago. What do you think about the guy uh, from Brian from BHB? Um, I honestly think he's a good guy. Uh, a lot of people tend to forget that he is a businessman. So, uh, and in general, people love to hate the guy because he's successful. And it, that's just bottom line. A lot of people hate the best singers, the best athletes, just because they're the best and they want to love the underdog, right? So he does a lot more positive and good things for this hobby than probably anybody else out there. Um He's made some mistakes in the past, and it's not necessarily him directly. It could be his employees and things like that, but he has to – of course, he's the face of the business, right? So he's going to take the, the the you know, the hit, the heaviest, but that's why people hate me. <laughs> nice. You were thinking about getting one from him too? Um, yeah, I mean, I would never tell you not to buy one of his animals. What I can tell you is that um, he does produce most – oh, sorry, girl. He does produce most of his animals, but he also does – by wholesale. So sometimes you'll get an animal that he didn't produce. Um, so just kind of be wary of that. Brian from BHB is awesome. Bought my first snake off him and his entire staff was great. That's super cool. Plus he's one of the original people that I watched um, when I was getting into the YouTube thing. Uh, learned a lot from him. You are holding my snake. <laughs> nice. She's just chilling. Look at that. She's chilling with granddaddy. She's, uh, she's digging the shirt. So, you know, she's nice and comfortable. We'll leave her alone. Dude, I love your videos. Yo, what's up, man? Thanks for joining. Yo, my husky is snoring so loud. Dude, don't call your wife a husky. That's messed up, dude. <laughs> I love his YouTube channel. He is the one that got me into ball pythons. That's awesome. All them herpes. <laughs> uh, I've never heard the herpes joke before, Austin. <laughs> uh Gary V said it best. When you're one of the biggest in the industry, people will naturally give you crap. That's just winner's tax. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's funny. Um, that was my wife. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, talking about the herpes? Is that what you're saying? Is your wife watching or what? Tell her I said what's up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wife wants to talk crap. Hopefully her uh, her her area down there doesn't doesn't get ripped too bad when the baby comes out. <laughs> when are we having another barbecue, Miss uh, Ball and Chain? All right, sweetheart, you can go back now. There you go. So did Austin tell you about all the snakes that uh, he's been buying? I've been keeping over here. <laughs> oh yeah, she's. Uh, this girl hopefully will ovulate. She's going to be a heavy, heavy clutch if she does. I have a bell that came from a, a lesser times Mojave. Any suggestions what you'd breed to her? Um, if I were you, um, that's kind of a hard one. But what's nice is any baby that comes out is going to be either lesser or Mojave. 
So breed something that works well with lesser and Mojave. Breed something that like a leopard. A leopard would go good or even a spot nose. Uh, I'll try soaking her. She shows no signs of stress and eats well and is friendly, but always better safe than sorry, I think. Got any visual clowns? I definitely do. She turned around to go to bed. <laughs> what would you get out of breeding a banana woma bull python to pied? So if you bred a banana woma to a pied, you can get either bananas or womas. You won't get any pieds. Um, you can get either bananas, womas, or normals. And they would all be what are called 100% het for piebald, meaning they carry one copy of the piebald gene. And in order for those babies to then produce um, uh, pieds, you would have to then breed them to either each other or other snakes that also carry the pie gene or a visual pied. And that's how you would reproduce the piebald. Trying to get me in trouble. I'm just messing with her. Oh, yeah, I forgot mood swings, dude. I don't want to piss her off. Dude, I'm sorry. I got to go. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping, stopping by. I'm thinking breeding Enchi to Fire Spider. Ooh, that's a good combo. Enchi to a Fire Spider. That's a great combo. Um, I can show you real quick what an Enchi Spider looks like, Stevie. Uh, you've probably seen it before. What? That's an Enchi Spider. That's actually a really good quality one at that, too. She's got a little bit of stuck shed on the top of her head or her neck. But she's a really good quality. And you add fire on top of that, and that's just gonna it's gonna lighten her up actually. Um I wish my other girl here wasn't in shed, and so I could show you what fire does to spider. Oh, that's the puma. But this girl's deep in shed, and she's got a little bit of poop I gotta pick up. But she's a fire mystic spider, and she's actually pretty white. When she's out of her shed, she's pretty white. So, most underrated morph, super jungle, het wild. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Yo, Royal Empire Constrictor is welcome, man. Nice to have you here. Logra, I disagree. Most underrated morph, normal. Uh, not a huge fan of normals these days, but if you want to really break apart your genes, a normal is really good for that, or if you got some dinker stuff. It's currently 1 a.m. here, and I just heard of my snakes tip a heavy ass water bowl in the other room. You know what's funny is that you'll hear them blowing bubbles in their water bowl, or uh, you'll even hear them poop, and it sounds like they're ripping ass. Awesome, damn beautiful, Mon most underrated exantic. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Exantics are pretty underrated. Um, I really like exantics when they're about 150, 200 grams, and then as they get older, they tend to lose a lot of their color, which kind of sucks. But I think Exanthic Desert Ghost would help out a little bit with that. Cause, okay, because my friend just got a pied and he was asking me if we should breed his pied to a banana woma. Um, yeah, that, that's not a bad idea either. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen banana pieds, but they look good. Um, the only thing is, is um, if woma is anything like spider, because I've never seen a woma pied actually. Uh, but the spider pie balls um, make essentially an all white snake and sometimes you get lucky and a little bit of the head will actually have some color on it but generally a lot of people stay away from breeding spider to the pied because of that reason you don't get a lot of the colors and the patterns that come out so it may it may or may not work out for what you think it might do so you might want to not do that or not tip it but push it and spill it jeff moore thank you so much for the donation uh keep the dial thank you so much for taking the time to do these and answer questions and keep the dialogue rolling at a good pace. Thank you so much, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying for you guys. Yes, sir. Sending out your stickers tomorrow, bro. Thanks. I know um, Friday morning, I've been trying to get some of these t-shirts in the mail and some of these fridge magnets in the mail, but um, work seriously, man. It's, just, it's been a drama fest lately. They just fired my other finance manager. So now I'm working open to close shifts um, all this week. Uh, up until Friday when I leave for Vegas. So I haven't been able to drop those in the mail. It freaking sucks. But Friday morning before I go to Vegas, I'm going to try my absolute hardest to drop that stuff in the mail for some of you guys. Uh, well, Glabs, what's up, bro? I have to go. See you later, Stevie. With scaleless head, they keep it. Doing great, bro. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I love my exantic lemon blast female. Putting her with my clown next season. Nice. Awesome, bro. Show some nip. <laughs> Yo, G-Rated, what's up, brother? Nice to see you here, man. Do you have any albinos, like another one I really like? 
I don't have any albinos. I I um I appreciate albinos, but they're just not for me. Um, to me, they all look generally the same. The only different, the only stuff that tends to work really well with it is Enchi and leopard stuff. But other than that, to me, they all kind of look the same. So I just don't really work with it. Um, I like to breed clutches that have a lot of variance in the way they look, and that just wouldn't do it for me. But I think they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'll send you a prepaid FedEx envelope. <laughs> nice, dude. Austin. Lowell, send me your address. <laughs> Ball and chain, DM me on Instagram. Genomic. Albinos remind me of grapefruits. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Black pastel albino. Yeah, that's a great combo. Brings out a lot of the whites. Um, let me grab the because I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Austin a little sour right now. I'm gonna grab the uh, black magic that I got from him. One second. All right, guys. So we caught her at a really good time, actually. She's actually shedding. So she's in the middle of her shed. So at this point, I can pretty much assist her with it. And uh, it'll all come off if she's willing to let me help her. As you can see, it just rolls off. Um, this is going to be a rated R comment, but you roll it down like a condom <laughs> and it just comes right off. And this is naturally what she's going to do. She's going to brush against the side of the tub and roll it all off. So she's got some nice colors coming out, but yeah, take a look at her. Thank you so much, Austin. You the man, this girl's going to do some huge stuff over at granddaddy. You already know. Look at all that. And this is why we want you to get black pastel to your banana stuff, man. Because seriously, beautiful, beautiful combo. This girl has a lot of shedding to do. I might just put her back in there. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me help her with her shed. Yeah, let's put her away and put her back in here. Let her, let her do her thing. Get it all off. Oh. Uh, you lie, you know my Abano girl is fire. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. Like I told you, I don't think they're ugly. Black pastel, magic, spider, albino. <laughs> Jamie, thanks. G-rated, nice to hear from you, man. Glad to have you here. I might be grabbing a other black magic girl and a GHA Mojave boy. Stop lying, man. Your wife's going to whoop that ass. Why would you grab another black magic after you just sold me one? You want her back, don't you? Well, that sounds insane, ball and chain. I need to see a pic of that combo, right? What's good, Rep and Reptiles? You back again? Um, speaking of looking in shed, I passed up a chance to pick up a pastel ghost, and the regret is coming back to haunt me. <laughs> I know that all too well. So um, if a lot of you guys don't know, so I check Morph Market every day for blackhead stuff uh, just because that's what I'm pursuing. That's what I'm after. And literally, it's been the same stuff every day, nothing new. I just so happened to um, look on Morph Market a few days ago, and a guy had posted some new Blackhead stuff. And so I grabbed the... So I sent a message about the Blackhead Asphalt Pastel and the Blackhead Calico. And I didn't hear back from him at all that day. So I was like sweating bullets. I'm like, oh, somebody else bought it. And then I get an email at like 6.35 in the morning. And I woke up at 6.45 and he sent me an email saying that there was two other interested parties. The first one to put their money down will get it. So literally I'm on the crapper and I send the money to him and I get an email 
that I won it. So he's like, you win, congrats. So I was like, yes, yes. Jose, I got your channel. Uh, Jose, you're getting it, bro. Getting all the all the viewers. That's dope, dude. Hazel's Reptiles, what's good? Welcome. Nice to see you. I haven't heard from you in a while. Welcome. Uh, if you didn't know, I go live Monday through Friday, generally around uh, 10, 15 p.m. on the West Coast. So 1 a.m. on the East Coast. I'm um, getting out of the Navy, so I'm going to have to build racks. Don't build them. Buy them. Saves you a lot of time and headache in the long run. Plus, um, the wood racks, if you're using your tubs. So here's a little breeder tip for you guys. So your racks, right? Let's say this rack was made out of wood. And you've got your snakes in here. They're rolling around in their poop. They're getting wet. All the humidity is building up. And what it's doing is it's building underneath the top here and with wood it's seeping into the wood not only is it going to flex the wood but it's going to build up all that nasty bacteria up in there and that's where you're going to get upper respiratory infections in your snakes and other other potentially fatal illnesses so avoid wood at all cost seriously and the only time you are going to use wood is you want to use a lid with it so that's my trick to you a lot of people don't tell you that but it's good to know um, the only other exception is melamine. Um, melamine's good because if, as long as the underside is also melamine, because then you can wipe it. Like generally every few months or so, um, I'll get in these racks and I'll get like a uh, disinfectant wipe and I'll I'll wipe on underneath the the roof. Especially when I like, especially if a tub gets really wet, a lot of moisture builds up, then I definitely clean it. Like for some reason, this tub just keeps getting real moist a lot of the water is kind of getting everywhere so i'm gonna have to clean that tub on my uh my next opportunity i'm gonna have to clean that wipe it down i would buy your rack austin <laughs> i build my own racks pvc baby yeah pvc is the best because of you i will always wake up at 6 a.m to contact breeders 3 a.m my time <laughs> huh <laughs> I forgot you you were after the same animals. I knew it was you immediately. That's so funny. Uh, that's such a coincidence. And that's so funny, man. You knew it was me. You're like, God dang it. Granddaddy Herb's back at it again, stealing all the blackhead stuff off the market. So nobody else can have any. Uh, nice little shot of the setup in the background. Redfoot tortoise is sleeping right now. Uh, moist. Yeah, that word, huh? Moist. It's a funky word. Your notification bell was off on my end. I changed that. Dang. Oh, well, at least you changed it. That's dope. Uh, I gotta, I gotta get some more edited videos out there. But this is literally taking up all the time that I normally use for filming. So I'm gonna show you guys something cool. So. <clears throat> This is the camera I use. It's a Canon T7i, really, really nice camera. Uh, but this is a an aftermarket lens, not an aftermarket, but it's a Canon lens that I bought that didn't come with the camera. And it's a, uh, it's a macro lens. So this is how I'm able to get the really close shots of my snakes and my tarantulas. So what's really neat about this is you see this little halo ring right here. What that allows me to do is it has a light so I'm able to get really close to the snakes and the tarantulas and get really good pictures without using the flash. It really helps out a lot. It's one of the best investments. It's a $300 lens, but it's well worth it. Absolutely worth it. And uh, has a couple settings. So it was bright, dim, and then you can go like, like side to side. There's another button where it allows you to go like one side. Daddy, here. See that? Here. Super cool. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. You want to say hi? Yeah. Okay, come say hi. Come say hi to everybody. They're all here to see you. They're not here to see me. <laughs> you say hi? <laughs> Don't we have the same smile? <laughs> Where's AJ? Dude, I'm going to show AJ this because everybody's asking for uh, and my pito. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to see the close-ups at the uh, from under, don't you? Say so. Yeah. No, you give me a kiss. No, you give me a kiss. Oh, thank you so much. All right. You go play. Go go watch JoJo. Okay, man, I've been following you for a at least a year and a half before 
even uh, getting a single snake. And it's really awesome to see how your snakes have grown. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I have to take some GDH content creator classes. Yeah, one time Ed was over here. And literally, I he sat here the whole time while I edited a video. And um, even though he was excited to see it, it like depressed the heck out of him. Because he's like, dude, you do all that to edit your video? He's like, dude, I'm never going to learn all of that. And I'm like, eh, it just comes with time and experience. Don't forget to strike that like button. Oh, I like that. That would be a great logo for the back. Don't forget to strike that like button. <laughs> that would be super catchy. She clothed. I know, dude. So um, Austin's comment that she clothed. Literally, she's ran in several lives butt naked, and I have to turn the camera away. Oh, she's beautiful. My seven-year-old is crashed out. Yeah, my seven-year-old, she's crashed out, too. A lot of times she comes home and she's knocked out. AJ's cute, I think, lol. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, AJ's a little uh, little freak. If only you knew how much of a freak AJ was, it would blow you away. That dude's into some Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, dead serious. No lie. That dude's a freak. Uh, she ran in on me and all I saw was butt cheeks. <laughs> right? Austin was over here, ball and chains. He was over here uh, uh, last Friday, I think. Hey, turn that off. She knows how to turn on the dryer. Um, yeah, Austin was over here the other day and she ran in on us in the middle of the live, just butt naked. She's like, Daddy, wipe my butt. Hey, <laughs> we're already at an hour, man. Time flies when we're having fun. This is been an awesome live you guys are awesome so um so a lot of you uh, i know some of you guys are new like diego petsotics he called me and we talked on the phone for a little bit the other night um uh, and he said after watching me and being recommended from aqua balls he's considering doing a lot more research and getting his first ball python so i think that's super rad and i highly recommend this book by kevin mccurley who is my all-time idol um this is an amazing book, has all kinds of information, and he even signed it for me. So super excited about that. But everything you can possibly want to know about keeping the good, the bad, the ugly is in that book. Uh, bro, the Jamie, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, you're awesome as fuck, dude. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Don't forget to strike that like button, everyone. Thank you. Yo, Hazel, you're putting in work. Thank you so much. Awesome chat. Thanks again and have a great night. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna get off here in a few more minutes. It's getting late. I don't want to keep you guys. Uh, I don't want to be the excuse that you go into work and you tell your boss. Sorry, I was up, date, up late watching Granddaddy Herb's live video. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It's his fault. He has such good content, good lives, and I can't help it. I'm addicted. I need help. <laughs> awesome chat. Thanks again. I plan on going to check out Nerd this year. Oh, dude, you're going you're gonna to love it, man. You're going to love Nerd. You can keep me up. I just got to work late. Not a big deal. Nice. Yeah, I gotta, be, I gotta get up tomorrow at six in the morning. So I, that's why I gotta get my butt off of here too. I gotta get up at six to go run the kids to the babysitter and get to work. And my commute to work is forty-five minutes. So, what you got? You got a book on the duck on the ducks, the noisy egg. That's a book she picked out right now. So here, here's your book. There you go. Go look at it. Okay. Uh, my muck bang eat with snakes on my neck. <laughs> I go in late tomorrow. GDH Anonymous. <laughs> nice. Uh, anonymous. Uh, huh, good thing I'm on vacation. You lucky. Peace, man. Peace, bro. Your babysitter isn't named TV and how times have changed. No, man. Oh, he's a good dad. I like to think I'm a good dad. These girls are spoiled. I mean, half my garage is just littered with freaking electronic bikes, carts, Barbie Jeeps. Like, the their rooms are just packed to the brim with toys. <laughs> Later, G-rated. You have a good night. I know you got to get up early, too. So, looks like everybody's going night-night. So, let's wrap this up, guys. Um, we're at a minute four, about to be a minute five. So... Any last wishes? Um, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Good night. As always, Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs.